You know where you at? Breathing on my fucking neck. Oh, you know, Denzel Shiesty, you, man. You know where you at, man? What's going on, you know, Denzel? I'm in Polito. Right I'm in Polito. You know where you at right now? You in the trenches right now, bro. You in the trenches. Hey, 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 you know where you at right now, right? This is where the NASCAR is. We outside. We outside right now. See, we outside. We outside. No, no, it's not about that life. No, don't, don't, don't gas Man, you what you, you say? You Man, what, are you, what are you saying? Your, your, face, your uh, other side of your face is going to look down here with a coffee pot. You keep going. I'm telling you. Okay. You already got smacked once. I don't think you know where you at right now. I know okay. Denzel ain't talking. Hey, you ain't talking big right now, is you, Denzel? I'm not talking big. I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. I don't think you understand where you at right now, son. Oh, shit. Okay. I, once again, I, once again, I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. We in the cutter right now. We in cousin fucking territory. Yeah, Actually, let me, go, let me go change. You know, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Bath saw Bobby hand on my life. Hey, Ramos. What's up, mm, Eugenia? Mm. Hey, uh, Eugenia. What? What's going on? Hey, what's yeah, going on? Anita, how you doing? Hey. I'm very proud I, of you. Oh my god, that's so early. Okay, I'm, I try. I try. One day, one day. One day. Really? Fuck you, baby. And then when you no, hey, hey, hey. Hey, you just told me when you run, you run, you can do 35k now. It must be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fucking devious now. We up, we up. It's devious now. Boys, we up now. That's not devious, that's demonic. Hey, nice to see you guys, man. I got some interesting demonic questions for you guys. I hope you guys are ready, alright? I got some good questions. Keys. I got some real good questions. Nice to meet you. What's going on? The money drops now. Yeah, yeah, 35. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's crazy now. Don't shoot them a question. People call me. Don't shoot at that. Okay, hold on. What you mean by that, man? You know exactly what I mean. Hold on now. Hold on now. I came to ask questions, man. I came to ask. Is this you? What the fuck is wrong with you, Bobby? Criminal now, Peanut. You gonna fight? Wait, what? What yeah, happened to you being the warden? Yeah, if you did that, I wouldn't. Wait, why? What you mean? Ask me about what happened at my prison, Peanut. What happened, man? Buy some drugs? What the fuck are you talking about, Bobby? Bro. Oh. No, I don't. No, Bobby, I don't you want your drugs. Get get, get away from me, Bobby. Only water in this, Peanut. Okay, that's Smiley great, Bobby. That's great. Peanut. That's great. All right, man. All right. All righty then. I wish we could have a. Okay, there you go. Uh, what's it called? A, a group chat. He's not running. There's other. There's a mic to the right. Who Abdul right there? Right there. Well, yeah, but I like this mic. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Mm. You smell good, Denzel. You okay? You're, you're okay. I just want to let you know you smell good, man. For real. I appreciate you, Doc. You what, what's, that, what's that cologne you got going on? I should now numero one. The fuck you just say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that gas. Mm, mm. That's fire, dude. That's fire. All right. All right. I can do that. I guess I put the whole world. What's up, pussy? What? What's up, pussy? Who are you talking to? I know you know. You talking to lady? up, man. It up. Wait, hold on. Why are you talking to lady like that? Because I know you ain't talking to me like that. Nah, you're, uh, you're cool, man. You want to fly too, man? Here you go, dude. Take a flyer. Damn. No boat cornwood, yeah? Oh, she handing out flyers? Yeah, oh. yeah I'm handing out flyers. But who are you, who are you going for, dude? Yeah, who are you going for? I said we should get a cornwood. No, who are you going for? Bones. If Bones got to win. 100%. Bones then too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. We homies, right, Peanut? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Guys, why am I lying? Oh, is this a line for the questions? Yeah, come in, Pin. Oh, alright. When do the questions start? Oh, shit, Chaos huh? Legion's here. Um, whenever they want to take a question, you know? Oh, alright. Alright. You wanna go first? I mean, nah, it's okay. You could ask some questions, brother. No, it's okay. You go first. Yeah. I, I have a lot of questions. A lot. You know? Yo, is this working? Yeah, that thing's working. Shotty yeah, little baddie. <laughs> shotty my little boo <laughs> thing. And shotty got a fatty. She got a nice boo switch. Every time I fuck without a rubber. I no problem, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Wait, am I? Am I? Oh, man. Is this, what's up? Um, The fuck is that? Wow, what's that? That was a power no, move. Thought I heard something. <laughs> Yo, when this shit start on a Viv? 
When is this shit starting? Start, starting now once you get in the audience, man. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Wait, in the line? All right. That is really awkward. No, oh, in the audience? Okay, I'm sorry. Me first and then audience questions. Guys, can you guys oh get more people what? here you got this. You got via social this. media? Man, we got the whole city here. What you talking about? There's a lot of people. There's still people selling weed right now, for, for people sure. People trickle in bones. Okay. People are lazy. Aww. I got you, bro. Look at that. I got you. Bro, Eddie, what is wrong with you? All right, all right, all right. Let's settle down and get this thing started. Abdul, if you could hop off stage, that'd be great. Oh, he's taking a selfie. Okay. Promotion's fine. Full promotion. All right, perfect. Once Corin is off the phone, we will be good to get started. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, you Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you, candidates and audience members, for attending this debate. I will be asking the candidates a total of 10 questions before we open what, up the what floor the fuck is from the audience. During this, I ask the audience to be respectful Yo, all, and to know the questions you, you may have for our potential future sheriffs when the time comes. That being said, these questions oh. come from surveys <laughs> What's up, motherfucker? The police What's up there, buddy? As well as a few written by the chief of police, as well as yours truly. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started by having so, each candidate introduce themselves, and then we'll get into the questions. Cornwood, let's start with you. You got you got to you got to talk uh, on the microphone, brother. Speak into the microphone, Cornwood, and then also I just asked you guys to introduce yourselves before oh. I ask the first question. <clears throat> uh, my name is Cletus Cornwood, and, uh, a senior officer in the LSPD. Uh, I'm also the PD liaison, uh, voted by uh, by my peers. So uh, I was uh, the I was voted as a PD liaison a few weeks ago, and I've been working as a city councilman, uh, helping to pass legislation and uh, helping things and make this city the best damn place we can make it. Oh, Who's this been... guy is amazing. This guy's amazing. I hey love guys. it. No, no, no. Uh, vote, vote for Sydney Bones. Um, currently uh, shift one LSPD. Um, I've been a police officer for a very long period of my life. Um, and I primarily work on keeping the shifts in line mm. and hiring and training. Mm -mm. Thank you, Viv and Bones. What's up, y'all? Uh, my name is Jeffrey Bones. I'm a sergeant in the other fucking My main is that a focus is uh, patrolling. So y'all see me. I'm sure y'all y'all see me out there. Vote for Bones. Woo! All right, perfect. Bones. Welcome, candidates. Um, our first question. We will start with Cornwood and go down the line just like you guys did. What kind of culture are you looking to instill within the department? Should you win? That's definitely not that's important to me. Is I want to have high character individuals with a strong moral compass mm. who can go out there and do actual police work i want to establish a brotherhood in there that when they go in they feel like they're getting backup from their brothers and sisters and they focus on community policing everything i do is community first and i look at it from a bird's eye view i want to have this city be the best damn place it can be and i think it starts by having uh ha having everybody as an equal part of that equation you see, he wants people to be eye on duty. Yep. All right, thank you. That's uh, why you got to vote both. You don't have to wait for me if, uh, if Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, All you're right. good. Um, okay, so I'm basically, I'm looking forward to uh, put together a team of people who will work well together. Um, they've got to be personable people. I want people to remember them for the right reasons, what not the, the wrong fuck? reasons. This is a um, family, brother. You To know who they are, to be able to come forward and talk to, talk to them. Um, I want that team of people to be highly competent at what they do. You know what? We're going to ask a question right here. I want to be able to provide the support that the general state needs. I want to build a department that's right. that people want to be around. I think that, that's, the, that's the biggest thing that I want to build up. Um, not, only, not only people uh, in the force, but also people that deal with us and run into us on a daily basis. I think that's the, the most important aspect of a police department <laughs> um whether this is community policing <laughs> we have pleo man we have to at the thing i think that that's we're yeah, okay we was waiting for you but i guess you up there already i already told you guys i already said it bro that i'm gonna model the department after is uh, who's we by the way i was raising the it's me rami and i told you that i was coming over here i would love to kind of put that little oh you're with rami okay all right yeah we have to we, we better ask questions i let it do all right all right thank you um, community policing has been spoken about quite a bit throughout this election, so how do each of you aim to foster or grow a wider community in the North? 
within the sheriff's department as well as outside of it. Uh, I'm uh, gonna, gonna America! Go. Yep. I would, I would like to answer this one. You, we're all going to answer this. It's a debate. We're, we're all, yeah, we're all going to answer it. All right. Uh, okay, so, uh, I mean, the big thing for me is, uh, like I said, community policing, establishing that strong sense of community. I want to mm. make sure that people are happy to be around the police, right? So, <laughs> myself, on a personal level, being a community liaison, I have the opportunity to push for certain things and legislation to be able to help promote that. Um, Y'all can take a look at the, the most recent legislation, even for Miss Jones events as well. Uh, Miss Andy Jones events, her survivor uh, event. Helped well, it's because he's closer to her, Chronic. Uh, for her to be able going to in order. That. I want to promote more community events that happen up north. Uh, I want to establish that culture. One of the things that I'm doing is uh, I want to take that, that office, that sheriff's office, and I want to blow out the wall that stands in between that and the medical center. And I really want to establish it as a as a hub that kind of serves that whole uh whole little Texas area, right around the Alamo Sea, Sandy Shores, Grape Seed, even leading up into right here in Polito. And uh, having an environment that people are happy to be around, right? Between the different branches, between the EMS, between the doctors, between the uh, the receptionists working, the dispatch working, people that are in the building should feel good about one another. And uh, speaking of dispatch, speaking of reception, I feel very strongly that we need to prioritize 911 calls. I don't leave, I don't need a bunch of ping chasers, okay? I'm not looking for a bunch of damn robocops, okay? I don't need I don't need flow chart policemen. All right? What do I mean by that? If somebody calls the police and they say, "Hey, I need help. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting stabbed." They should feel they should expect that they're going to get an answer, okay? <laughs> At the very minimum. Ping, ping chasers, should ping. Be a text response. Absolutely. Why? Because Oh, that's crazy. should be treated like a dadgum local in this city. No, <laughs> surely. And I'm tired of seeing it. I think I think it's an absolute disaster when that happens. So taking those high character individuals that I was talking about earlier, I want to build a department that does this, that builds that culture. Whoa, that grows the city. I want y'all to be happy to see a police officer, and just because you see a police officer, uh, it don't mean you're getting arrested. Okay? Hell, even if you have a criminal history, if you ain't doing crime right then and there, why would I think you're doing crime? He's so smart. All right, let's go to Bones. All right, thank you. We're gonna um, jump around. Pretty. I yeah. think community policing is just something that's said a lot, but like, it's, it's not just responding to 911 calls. That's the raining man. It's really about just having an action plan and how you're gonna incorporate, uh, letting people speak their minds or getting their feelings out or just letting themselves be heard. Uh, the action plan that I have for community policing is kind of uh, having an open door policy for one of our meetings every week. Uh, that way people can bring up whatever topics they want to bring uh they can they can just have that discussion with us and also build that rapport within the uh, officers in my department all right but hey. mm. bro uh, the definitely yeah. stuff is rain so i want to talk about uh communication uh there is no point in stating that you're going to be you know uh working for the community Yo, I got the pot run. Uh, oh, you actually got it? You know, <laughs> yeah, accept it, accept it. Where's it at? Um, right across the street. Wait, are you serious? That, uh, <laughs> oh, shit, there's a the cop here. Hey, Abdul. Oh, shit. Hey. Uh, what the fuck? Bro, you look like a cop. Holy um, shit. That's what I'm there saying, bro. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. We all thought of it. We all thought of it. Wait, hold on. Come here. Pina, come here. Yo, I got the illegal pot run. You win or you out, Denzel? Yo, Pina, I got the illegal pun run. Uh, you down to do it? Let's go yeah, across the street. It's Fuck over it. there. It's in, it's in right. Sandy Shores. I'm um, Sandy. All right, let's ask two questions, Sandy. then we go. Yeah. All right, let's go over right. there, and then we'll kill them, and then we'll kill the cops. Oh, oh, wait, what? Are you gonna go to that uh, Uzi that's in, in your house? Oh, hold on now. <laughs> you still got that RPG that you was talking about in your apartment? Oh shit. That you said you was yeah, gonna sell me for two hundred thousand? Yeah. No, yeah, he has that C. He has that C4 you're asking for. Damn, Rami, you really got all that type of shit, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. A lot of cops here. Anyone that uh, so that people looking for, by the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, is that big D? Wait, it's not. These guys are selling weed. All right, thank you, Viv. Yeah, I still got 
While we're talking about community, each of you are part of the same community right now, i.e. the police department. So, we're gonna go back and forth and we're gonna ask you to say one positive thing and one perhaps criticism about each of your fellow candidates. Viv, let's start with you since you went last. Now, why can I ask you uh, fucking questions? One positive thing about both of them, and then yep. one negative. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. Uh, so for Cornwoods, um, I feel like uh, a, a positive. What you do want to do? Is that he is uh, a people person in the Relax, sense that people feel like they can approach him and speak to him uh, very easily. And I think that's a great quality to have. What, what the fuck am I looking at? That... One bad thing about Cornwood is, that uh, is that I believe that his heart isn't always you in the right place. You guys want to form the line? Yeah. I don't believe sometimes that he you, does you things for the, the line? right purpose in which we should do. Yeah, that's what we do. As Come on, let's go. Oh, hold on, what? Uh, right, I think... Bones. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to say for Bones too? Yes, yes, I do. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Bones, I think Bones is amazing at what he does. Uh, he's a very strong leader. Um... And I'm kind of going to flip that towards the negative as well. Uh, I'm going to suggest that Bones's leadership skills are best utilized out in the field. All right, let's put him on. Yeah, let me call you right back. I'm in the, I'm at the um, Toledo. I think Wait, did you actually get that shit, by the way? Yeah, I did. Um, All right. Uh, the, the negative I would say for Cornwood is sometimes he can be a bad example of some of the, the wind is that he blowing makes, in the wrong direction for in this umbrella. And his, uh, well, in attempt to stay dry has um, failed. And Viv, no, a positive so. about her, yeah. she's very strong-minded and she believes in what she's want. She what she believes truly, oh. uh, like whatever she wants is the, is the best way to go. And I think that's, that's uh, very uh, good. Oh, Eugene, I don't uh, care. You don't have, have the indecisiveness as a leader. Well, I, I, I don't, don't care. You want to shut the fuck up? Something negative is. Um, sometimes, oh, yeah, but no, no, I'm, I'm good. There's, there's just a little bit of drama I'm, or pettiness I'm not, I'm that not. I've seen. Uh, but other than oh, that, bitch. she's great. Yeah. All right, and Cornwood? Well, uh, uh, Dan. I think that, uh, I think that, I think that, I think that, I think that, she led a big academy. That's Kev, he's going for Cornwood. Yeah, he uh, definitely he wants to be under sure. That would be the worst decision Damn. Uh, phenomenal job. What's going on, Evan? Yeah, Dan, you gonna take that? No, Boogie's right now. Why is there missing him on those stage? The who? A whole bunch of cadets in a short amount of time. A bunch of recruits, actually. I'm about to ask a question, man. Bones, I think he's a... Get him out. He's a phenomenal leader in the field. Yeah, boys, two cars, four deep, hunting on the block. Mumu just called. I'm on the phone with Momo. Really? Kay's coming up here right now, by the way. They just shot him the fuck up. Two cars, four deep, they just shot up Momo. He got out. Alright, let's wait for Kay to come up here and then... I'm sorry, did I miss it? Did you have any criticisms of your fellow candidates? Vinny, did you repair my car, by the way? It looks fucked up. I don't really care to... I don't really care to... think about the... any criticisms or... You wanna just give me the repair kit and I can fix it? Fair enough. All right. Now, when we're talking about building a sheriff's office, obviously that's going to come with a lot of hiring, presumably. So what can so, we ask questions? Candidates, what are each of you looking for in potential candidates for the sheriff's office? What can they do to be noticed by the candidates for sheriff? No, but you guys. What can they do to be noticed? What are you looking for in? Yeah, you gotta be careful, Anastas. I'm looking for passion. Um, passion to want to, you know, be oh, yes. better. Uh, I think that is the number one characteristic that you cannot teach is passion. Uh, if, if someone's passionate, you, you know, they're going to do whatever they can to learn and, and try to be better. And that's what I'm looking for. All right, Conway. Uh, I touched on this earlier, <clears throat> and I can delve into it a little bit more, but I talked specifically about high-character individuals who have a strong moral compass, okay? I want people who bring the damn juice, okay? Uh, I want people to bring the damn juice. They show up. They show up on duty and they light up the room. But also, they know how to do their police work correctly. Okay, it's very important that we understand that the actions that we have as a police officer affect a lot of people. There is a lot of power that we have at being those that actually administer, you know, justice across the city. And uh, we I don't think so. Actually. Don't have the judgment and the wisdom yeah, they need to, take to off be this able rain. to approach a situation and Bro, they need to take the off this rain the right way, 
And, uh, Yo, Sheep, thank you for that tier one earlier, by the way. I don't know if I thank you already, but thanks. Things right. So those are the kind of people that I'm looking for. Those high character individuals with strong moral compass. All right, thank you, Cornwin. And Viv? Um, yeah, so I'm looking for uh, people a similar way to Bones, people with a drive. Um, I want them to put the safety and protection of those around us at the forefront of everything that they do. Uh, I need them to be able to prioritize things correctly. Um, I want them to be able to leave leave a good impression on people. I, I don't want people remembered for the wrong things. Yes, we're going to piss people off. It's, it's, it is a part of our job. Um, it's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, we're going to annoy a lot of people. But it's how we handle that and how we move on from that and how we put ourselves out going forward that matters. I want people... If we want people out here holding people accountable for the laws that they're breaking, I fix your we, car, but we it's need not people that are able to hold themselves accountable for what they're doing. Thanks. All right, thank you so much. As far as we are talking about starting a sheriff's office and hiring people, you guys are going to need what you can refer to as a second in command. So, if you have a running mate, why did you choose them? And if you don't, what are you looking for? What are you wanting to see in somebody? What are your plans for that in the future? Let's start with Cornwood. Uh, I haven't picked my under sheriff yet, and there's a very important reason for this. It's because I believe that there's a time for appointed leaders and there's a time for emergent leaders. They're two very different things. I guess not them. Very, very different. I have a, I have a, an idea in mind. I have several ideas in mind who I would mm. think is an under sheriff. However. We have had way the hell too many appointed leaders in the LSPD. Way the hell too many people that are handed a position that they're chasing and they haven't gone and shown it. They haven't earned it. Okay? I need people mm. to stand up out of a crowd and say, hey, not, okay, can I be the guy? It's, oh, this guy is the guy. This person doesn't ask for a position. This person isn't given a position. This person is shown that, hey, she or he or whoever it is. Somebody's throwing trash. <laughs> So that's why I haven't appointed an undersheriff yet, and uh, I do feel very strongly about that. I don't want to promise anybody no no rank or nothing like that. Whenever uh, I don't know for sure who it's going to be. Now, long term, uh, my plan is to have an undersheriff, and uh, you know potentially I'll have uh, multiple captains instead of one undersheriff if, uh, if that's what I think is best for the department and the greater state police. All right, thank He's you. So got him. Let's go to Viv. Um, I haven't, ha I do not have someone currently appointed for under sheriff. Um, what I'm looking for is uh, <clears> a person <throat> who uh, is going to have. What the oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, it's an assassin! Oh, assassin! Oh, it's a local. What the fuck is happening? Assassin! Assassin! <laughs> Shot him! He's down! He's down! You got cops. Only one kid that was able to right stop now, him. The, the other two stood, stood there in fear. He's down. He's down. Go on, Wood. 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 Two people yelling, Go on, Wood. He was after you, Go on, Wood. This, this. Does anybody need medical? I'm trained. Take a look at you here. I need medical. Parker's here. Parker's, 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 Parker's here. I think he's yeah. still on chat. Yo, that was a huge yeah. champ, bro. Yeah. The yeah. whole two people, man. Hey, Abdul. Yeah. Sorry hey, about that, drive. I, I don't like shooting into a crowd, but if I do, I ain't gonna miss. Sorry about that. Sorry for scaring you. If you're hurt, come to me. Boy, he said he was on his way up. Yeah, I called him. He's not here. If you're hurt, go to Parker. He's over by the car car. Okay, I'm gonna go on the motorway then. Man, check the highways. Did he crash driving, bro? Not that, they could have been ran up on, you understand? One or the other. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hunting. true. They're hunted in two um, great cars. Sorry, one looks like a Lamborghini Diablo. Yes, it was. I'm going to the highway right now. Yeah, one looks like a Lamborghini, Lamborghini Diablo. The other one is a four-door Lampadaddy silver. I mean, gray color. Both of them are both gray. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When he's bound, uh, so bro. Yeah. I don't want we'll to have an undersheriff. I am looking for someone who's got very similar ideals to me. Yeah, someone go to the me. But is also someone who is not going to be afraid to question me. The last thing that I want is What's someone seemingly okay, going Never mind, he's good. Never mind, he's good. I fucking hate you so much. He's good. Communication breaking Bro. down. Dude. What's up, Jansbury? Uh, 
and the Good morning, sort of Kay. Taking, taking a turn and crumbling. It's not going to work like that, right? I expect to be held accountable the same as everybody else. I expect to be questioned about what I'm doing, and if I can't answer that, then we're waiting to ask right. questions, Poon. You haven't started yet. I don't know why they're taking so long. And it's not good enough. The uh, math are just fucking. I want someone who is passionate for the role. The reason why I haven't approached anybody is I don't want anybody to feel like they're forced into that position. I am going to be holding. Um, What's going on? They're having like, a an, uh, they're having a sheriff like debate. How are you today? You fucking douchebag. Answer the fucking uh, phone. Next I have time I call you. Uh, I think fucking I thought you got fucking shot. I have my phone in my hand. I'll text him. We work very well together. I think it's something important. Um, <laughs> they already, I, I had, uh, they already I ran to the block to try to shoot people up already. I heard some answers that I don't necessarily are too true. Because I've, I have heard oh, first hand. Oh, we were shitting on the Wii game uh, yesterday, babe. One would that Slacks is, you've asked Slacks to be your undersheriff. Oh. I don't know if you want to speak on that, but. Oh. I don't like right in front of my binoculars. Oh, sorry, I was going to run out of that. Oh, mine. I'm getting an autograph or something. I got some questions. Yo, come on, guys. Y'all up and on the bed, face. Maybe ask me questions, too, you know what I mean? Go on. Go ahead, deep. Go ahead right away, sir. Captain Flex, you want to come up here? Right. Because I, I told him directly, I said I, I would consider it as an MC. I feel like you're right, giving, yeah. I trying to give him an bones. answer. I, well, I bones, I mean, did I not tell him an answer? Yes, right? I would like He's to hear him. Exactly. Why don't we just let him speak? Oh, it makes sense now. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, another, uh, another, what's up, dude, boy? Sense. Mm. Another one, Zo. Oh, Jesus fucking That's Christ, right. dude. And Zo, so, yeah, do you ever stop? Just allegation. He asked me, would you want to be my undersheriff? I said, I'll be my tax done now, bro. Shut up, Zo. So, yeah, there you go. So, like I said, Bones, like I told you yesterday. So, again, I wouldn't lie to the crowd and uh, say something otherwise. Like you just claimed I was. Or just tell a half truth. Yeah, I got a half truth. Whatever you want to go right now. He is going to do that. I'm good, I'm good. Dude. That ain't no lie. Does that sound like a lie to y'all? What sounds like a lie to me is Bones coming up with something that I already clarified yesterday, told him the truth. And then he comes up and says it again after he knew the answer, and he claimed that it was true. That's what sounds like a lie to me, Bones. I mean, we just heard it from Slacks himself that you have you asked him questions? if you wanted to be your undersheriff. What's up? I, I, I oh, don't you know guys hear investment, and then that's, that's how you start get to work. You gotta put in investment to get your... Uh, no, you're gonna give it to Vinny. Bones, you can't just hear something and pretend like it's something else, No. okay? Part of that's emotional intelligence, but also communication skills. By yeah, the way, these are great things that a leader needs no, to have. No, we're at the right? event. You need to be able to hear something and yeah. then understand what those words mean. All right? Kinda Otherwise, the department's like not going to run. Sounds good. Yeah. It sounds like a whole lot of gaslighting. That's what I'm saying. Where the fire at? Oh, right, all right, all right. Calm down. Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> What makes each of you the most qualified for this position, and why are you a better choice than your fellow candidates? Yeah, was that that was key. Um, I have, I've worked uh, as a law enforcement officer for mm. a, a long time. Um, I have worked as a commander. Hey, go get, go get your girls, though. Now I understand that my way of commanding might not be everybody's cup of tea. Um, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be. You can't please everyone, right? Uh, but I will, like, do my best to ensure that we're working for the general public. I'm not going to be selfish about it. Yeah, I should have done this uh, yesterday, Dark. I'll be there, honest. Even at the worst of times. Um, I will work myself uh, to, to make sure that everything is, is you know, is covered. Uh, to make sure that yeah, she is, we're Skyline. keeping people as happy as possible. Uh, and I'll yeah, make you won't sure that uh, the rest of the team is fuck, man. So, along the same lines. Yeah, you won't uh, scream your was right. Do you want me to explain trying to get me, you know, are you trying to get me killed, man? What you mean? I mean, that was the question, but it is entirely up to you how you respond. No, I don't think I need to answer that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's going to you. Um, I think right now... I think that's what the fuck is happening? 
they answered it themselves for me earlier whenever they, they were talking about what's good about me. Uh, I'm a field leader. I think that is extremely needed right now in high command. And I think <clears throat> I can improve just the overall patrol of, you know, how we respond to calls and, and just do our police work. I think that's extremely needed. There needs to be somebody that is out there with the other cops and that truly understands what it is like to be to be out there and dealing with all the other calls and stuff that you run into on a daily basis. Uh, especially whenever you're adjusting policy and doing other things. Uh, yeah! The reason I think that uh, yeah, I'm yeah, than the yeah. other is just I've been doing this long enough to where I, I'm extremely level-headed with my decisions. I, I've, I've run into every type of situation. I understand how to pretty much run yeah, and lead any type of situation that I get into, no matter what type of scene it is. Yeah, I feel like she's and asking too many questions, bro. Thank you, Bones. Really? Oh, for me, it was. Uh, I. Uh, I'm 20 years of high command experience. Wait, what? Over, uh, over on the island before I came over here. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. They're they asking too many ago, questions already, bro. And, uh, was made high command, and I was a senior captain in the BCSL. So experience is one thing, right? In the city, out of the city, um, both as an appointed leader, and uh, I would... Yo, who's got fruit and veggies? Well, I would like to hope so. I need some... Anybody got food around you? Voting amongst yeah, the I do, I do. Oh, please let me get food, man. The last election, so amongst the... Of my peers, I was, the, uh, I was the one who got the most votes. You got some kebabs and shit, man. Let me get some of those kebabs. Sponsored by Bones. Sponsored by Bones. Oh, oh, hey, oh thanks, man. Thanks. I'm not done, bitch. Oh, you got more food? Shit, right. Sponsored by Bones. Sponsored by Bones. Sponsored by Bones. Oh, thanks, man. A sheriff in a, in a high command position, someone who's at the top of the chain, ain't somebody that should be out there just looking at their own department. You have to have that bird's eye view, right? I have to be looking at how my job affects the EMS. How does my job affect the doctors? How does my job affect the civilians? Okay? That's the big picture. Civilians are the backbone of this city, y'all. Civilians are the absolute backbone of this city. And it's got it's lost in the sauce, man. Out there, okay? So we have to go out there and we have to support the people of this city. Make them feel like they're trusted. Okay? And that is done by the culture that is established at the top, the, uh, and it to works all here. the way down. It's like a week, Georgie. What is this guy talking about? Okay. Yo, uh, if uh, they keep on taking this long, uh, I'm about to just dip, bro. Right? Doesn't the oldest guy care about his support. fucking turbos? By the way, I'm going to redo our entire PNT system, our entire FTO system currently. We have some unbelievable teachers in the PD, <laughs> but the system is dog shit. <laughs> we got to go out there. We got to drain the damn swamp of this system, y'all. I'm telling you. Okay? Why do I we're going to redo the entire training system with me, so we're going to... Set the culture Holy from fuck. the top, and cultural movement is going to happen from the ground up. <laughs> Shut up, Tugs. Yeah, My vision, gotcha. that's what's going to make things work in this city, okay? <laughs> I'm going to make things better for everybody, not just for the PD. How long has this guy fucking yap for? It? Always the same species. No, Carlos! Can you talk about me? Timer on the counter, that's like a 30 second timer or something. <laughs> Man, somebody get this guy a hamburger! Alright, thank you, Cornwood. I've That's got a couple crazy. more questions for you guys before we up. open it up to yeah. the audience. Um, Corner brought up trust, and trust is undoubtedly an important element in leadership, particularly when a vote for you is, in essence, a small sign of trust from the community. Talking? So, candidates, yeah. how do you aim to foster and build Just trust not only among the members of the, the department you create, but with the communities you're protecting as a whole? Start I, I, with one Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, here we go. How many questions is she gonna ask? 1800 hours on duty since the city Yo, opened back. I swear to god. Over 1800 hours, okay? Wow. So, I know a hell of a lot about how you build trust, and it's from communicating with people in the community. I touched on it earlier on a previous question, and we need to have these interactions with the people in this city that don't make them feel like we're just out there to get them. <laughs> I'm God damn, so mom, you gotta drink some water, okay. man. And I think that a lot of people in this crowd know that. It's, it's because I've been a there to help. Man. I, I don't give a damn who you are. Yeah, I don't. I don't give a damn who you are. Okay, I don't care if you have a record. I don't care if you got a, a, a past, a future, or any of that. Okay, what matters to me is that people in this city are not treated as locals. And this when mm. we go back to our hiring and everything that I talked about earlier. That's the high character individual that I'm looking for. That's the strong moral compass that I'm looking for. That's the culture that I want to establish at the top. All right. Thank that is going to, oh, yeah, it's going to resonate in the city. Not just in the county, by the way, in the whole city. All righty right, then. Thank you so much, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the trust has been 
built on like the evidence of how I how I am as a police officer for the, I don't even know how long I've been a cop now uh, but quite some time I mean every day you know what you're gonna get from me if you see me on a scene you know that I'm gonna do everything I can you're gonna get a proper <clears throat> response from the police no matter what it is uh, I think that in itself has gotten me I whenever as I'm speaking to you guys daily in uh, this past couple weeks uh, you guys have been saying that that's why you guys trust me and that's why I have your vote so I really appreciate that I think that that in itself uh, should speak or that should speak for itself sorry yeah Cabone, Cabone. thank you bones and Viv. okay um so trust uh, is incredibly fucking important I'm very aware of uh, the wrongdoing Yo. that we might have to just go do this just soon bro yeah, you guys want to go do this quantum? I go like if if she asks another question, um, let's go. I have been doing my best, and I will continue to do my best to hold those people accountable for it. Hey, give me a cut, that um, My department should be able to trust me because they know that I am doing right by the state. If you're fucking around and using your position to abuse people, then yeah, sure as shit, I'm gonna come for your ass, okay? But the public know that. Okay, and that is what's most important. They know that I am going to have their best interest. Ten questions? I, I couldn't oh, repeat a single thing. Like, was it in your best interest to push the quota? Oh! All right, thank you. Sorry, oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. And fuck the quota. Fuck the quota. And Roof was right, man. Roof was right. I mean, so new. You will have your turn. All right, candidates. Much like trust, accountability is imperative in any organization. Of I, any just, I, I think we just did, man. How I ain't gonna lie. How do you respond to those that believe but these, the ga these guys just keep on asking questions, but I don't stop. Punishment and consequences for poor, poor policing. I know. I do. Let's start with bones. Uh, Holy hell! I plan on having a, a a full chain of command that's gonna be able to handle that. Uh, I don't think people have too much worry. We could have made. We could have done the run and came back over here with the run. Man, member uh, in the LSPD now. No, next time Cornwood uh, talks, everybody grab a bandaid and we just start our know, Cornwood. I will continue to do that and have high standards and at least uphold standards and make sure that people, if they're making a complaint on an officer, sure, they're man. you know at least good. in touch with what's going on and and what we're doing to try and make it right. And, and that at least. Well, Jesus here, and that's great. Oh my god. Yeah! Uh, this is something that uh, those who work within the department and a fair few of you of the public will know, I do handle and I do take very fucking seriously. This is something that I strive towards. Um, the unfortunate thing is, uh, is as of the LSPD and right now, uh, even when you try and hold people accountable, you are blocked um, from above that. Uh, I want to empower my command do that, for the sheriff's department to be able to do their jobs appropriately oh. Oh, okay, oh, and fairly, fairly and oh, ensure that people are held accountable you. for their actions and if they're not a good fit for the department What's the matter with they're not you? a good fit they will Jeez. be removed why are you throwing shit around like that? Is there an issue yet, bitch? Got a problem? Yeah, it, it might be an issue. Yeah, we'll poke you another eye, man. We'll get poke you another eye. What's up? Yeah, yeah, you heard what he said? I just don't watch you literate. That's how they need our partner together right now. But they're proud. Let me tell you. That's right. You keep throwing the reason why this word is coming up is why. People feel like there's a lack of accountability in the PD, right? People worry about a lack of accountability. Unfortunately, not being a part of command, I have no say. Unfortunately, I haven't had uh, you know, the opportunity, the ability to be able to, uh, uh, I guess, strike people, dap people is the word that we use. Give them a disciplinary action point, right, to, to stop shit from happening. There's different degrees of accountability and uh, or different ways to administer this accountability, to watch it. Yeah, sure, issue, giving them a strike point is one thing. Giving them I got my eye on you, okay? At the end of the day, that's a mark on a piece of paper. I got my okay? eye on you now. Firing somebody. Hey. You want it's one not fucking eye? Okay. Oh, is it no the end that. result? Sometimes. But I the remember. process needs to be teaching. Making sure that people know what they did wrong. Okay? If we have to get rid of somebody, we absolutely will. Unfortunately, again, I'm not in a position to be able to uh, hold people accountable on an administrative level as my current position within the LSPD. Uh, I'm not in a command position here. But, uh, 
like uh like, like Viv or Bones are, but uh but I do have a plan to uh not a plan. I, I have the full intent and I will from the top down make sure that people are held accountable and I make sure people are learning mm. how to get better at their jobs if they're making a mistake. And it's either my way or the highway. If you can't learn, I'm sorry. Ooh. You are not gonna be a part of this police. Yo, Denzel, I wanna fuck you up so bad. Yeah, right good now. Job. This is what you want your leader to be, Denzel. I just wanna snap your fucking neck. You understand me? What the fuck did I do to you? I just wanna snap your fucking neck. Alright, thank you, Cornwood. Well, we're on the topic of accountability. How do you candidates plan to deal with disciplinary action between LSPD and your sheriff's office? For example, an LSPD sergeant wants to have a disciplinary deputy. What will be the process for that? Yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, to me, these are going to be two chains of command. Uh, a lot of y'all may we'll not know this. Run, guys. So over we'll the last five here. months, I've done a lot of the legwork pushing for the sheriff's oh, office to be open. I've wrote up legislation. You probably got it, yeah. Documents. I have, I have pamphlets written. I've done a lot of work for getting this office open. And my personal vision. What up, you guys? Should I wait a little bit? Yo, Mr. Or, Ramos, uh, let's go do this shit and then bring the car right here, bro. Don't listen to this guy. Please don't. Please don't. Sure yeah, low-key, 45 cops here. They're going to be dumb. Be held <laughs> <a> difficult <laughs> pain on the It was a joke, right. man. It was a joke. Oh, no, that was not. Yeah, it was a joke. Yo, Rummy. Fuck you, man. Oh, is there, uh, is there any way with Dylan Aziz alone here? Like, draw him out to a quiet place so I can, you know what I mean? Do what we talked about earlier? You can with the filming in the middle. Uh, you, we can pull these to the side and talk to them. This board that I want, this is just a knockout. It's going to be to the run. It's probably going to be a free run. But there's way too much going on up here. I don't think this is the place you should grab these cops. Alright. No, yeah, don't do shit. Who has a gun that's willing to come? Uh, hold on, uh, come on. Guys? Come on, I'll come with you. Where are you? Uh -huh. I got one as well. Mm -hmm. Let's get Where we had that first ammunition crate with uh, the company? What I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. press real quick? Yeah. I need more ammo. Wait, do I, I don't even have enough money to buy ammo, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to buy ammo and tell Ellie that I, I owe her. I almost. Yesterday was wild, man. He missed it. Yeah, if you don't tell me about it. Hold on, hey, Ellie. Are you able to buy. Are you here with us, Ellie? In the car or no? Okay, can she buy me oh, can she buy me ammo from that gun store real quick or not? Because I, I don't have any spare. I got some for y'all. Oh, you got some? Alright. Thanks, man.